Beach football looks nice as well. A little bit cooler as well. We'll detail those cool down temperatures coming up in a few minutes. Okay, Brad, thank you so much. It is 635. We have details on the man shot and killed in a Catholic church parking lot. The coroner says 24-year-old Jordan Wells died just before noon Wednesday. Police found him at St. Andrew the Apostle Catholic Church on 38th Street in Indianapolis. Investigators have not said if they know anything about who may have shot him. Happening today, and maybe ironic today, it's mm. International Car Free Day. In Indianapolis, people are finding different ways to get to work. <laughs> In more ways than one, right? The day is designed to encourage all forms of sustainable transportation, including carpooling or even a bicycle. News 8's Joe Malillo is warming up before he jumps on his own bike this morning, riding downtown with the mayor, Joe. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be riding downtown with the mayor. But guys, you know, this is very important. We got to make sure we wear our helmets today and make sure we're super safe. We're going to go down the Monon and down to the Cummins building down near Market uh, the Mar uh, District. Um, right there by, by the IMPD. But anyway, listen, I have my setup this morning. We're very excited about this. My photographer helped me set it up. Essentially, I'm going to be wearing a backpack which broadcasts a live image with my GoPro as I, li uh, as I ride down the Monon and uh, kind of give you a, a live look in during the 7 o'clock hour. But more about Car Free Day and why it's important. Essentially, even just one time riding to work can make a big difference when it comes to helping the environment. Now, you can car pool, van pool, bike, take a bus, bike, uh, walk or scooter. Uh, it all counts as car free day. Part of the Com Commuters Connect program, that's a federally funded service designed to reduce air pollution and traffic congestion. They're helping put this on today. The impact, again, the goal is to try to get people even to do it just once a year would be a big help to the environment. Uh, you can actually make a pledge yourself. I did it this morning. I said I was doing this today. Although I did drive to work, I'm at least trying to pledge to do a little bit this hour. And you can go online at carfreeindy.org. I put the info on wishtv.com. Again, stay tuned for 7 o'clock and 7.30. We're going to be live on the bike as we go with the group. Mayor Joe Hogsett is expected to be here. I'm going to talk to him ahead of time, and then we're going to head out. I'm, I'm excited. Drew, I know behind the desk right now, you're probably very, very <laughs> jealous that uh, I get to do this. Anytime story. anybody's on a bike and I'm not, I'm jealous. She's yes. pedaling. There's like a little <laughs> yeah. feet are twitching. They have desks like that. Yeah, we I'm going to go practice. That. Let's go practice. <laughs> okay, Joe, thank you. And yes, I, I've oh, wanted no. to do this and planned to do this mm -hmm. in years past, no, and Joe it always it. rains and storms uh -huh. on the day I try to bike to work. It was work. perfect for him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is 638 right now. Wells Fargo plans.